Australia's renewable energy target has increased the supply of renewable generation capacity, like wind farms, and reduced emissions from the electricity sector. Sounds good, right? Well, it depends on the all-up cost. And the way things work in Australia means that the all-up cost is lower with the renewable energy target than without it. Let us explain why. A lot of people think that wind energy is expensive, so it must be making your power bills expensive too. Sounds logical, but it's actually not true. Yes, wind can be expensive to build, but it costs next to nothing to run. In fact, wind can actually drive wholesale electricity prices down by more than the cost of the renewable energy target scheme. Your retailer has to buy your electricity from the wholesale market, where prices are set every half hour. This involves an auction process to find the least expensive way of satisfying the last bit of demand in the system. Although complicated, this system has been great for consumers by keeping wholesale prices in check, increasing reliability and sending the right signals for investment in new capacity. Because Australia has plenty of low-cost generation, there's usually enough to satisfy demand so prices are low. But sometimes, when demand is high or supply is scarce, prices can be higher. The best way to illustrate this is to show what happens as demand grows across the day. During those times when more people are using appliances, like air conditioners, industrial equipment and cooking, demand is higher. When the cheapest generators get used up, we encourage more expensive generators to turn on and the wholesale price rises. Typically, Victorian peak demand can reach more than 7,000 megawatts, which needs to be supplied by a mix of sources, including baseload power, which uses brown coal at between $10 and $40 a megawatt hour, New South Wales black coal at $40 to $60 a megawatt hour, and mid-merit power, which uses gas at around $90 a megawatt hour. And if demand is even higher, peak power is occasionally required using gas and diesel, sometimes at more than $500 a megawatt hour. So the highest bidding generator sets the price for the whole market at $500 per megawatt hour. Even the brown coal generator, who is prepared to run for between $10 and $40 per megawatt hour, gets paid $500, because prices are set by the last and most expensive megawatt to be supplied. This encourages all generators to bid low, because if they don't, they might miss out on generating and making money. Now with wind power, and let us remind you that it's pretty much free to run, we blow the more expensive generators out of the picture and off your power bill. And you'll be happy to know that during those expensive peak periods, only a small amount of wind is required to displace the peak generators. Better still, as we add more wind, more expensive generation options get pushed out, so prices fall, sometimes by more than 90%. Even in average demand periods, the market price can be reduced by 50%. Other forms of renewable energy have these impacts too, including landfill gas, energy from sugar milling and solar. It's not hard to figure out what this means for you. As the wind pushes down wholesale prices, it should push down your power bill. So if you are under the impression that because it's expensive to build, wind power costs you money, you can now see it should actually save you money, even after all the costs of investing in wind, including renewable energy certificates, are accounted for. It's quite simple. More wind means cheaper power for you. If you're not convinced that your retailer is passing on these savings to you, maybe it's time to switch to a better power company.